360C and beyond, your one stop shop for 360C and pop culture. As you can probably see around me, we are currently on the shuttle. We are off to Disneyland Paris for a few days, staying at the Camp David Crockett uh, cabins. So that'll be a new world for us. Not staying there since I was about 10 years old, so that's 23 years ago. So yeah, we are uh, off to there for three days and uh, I'll catch you guys when we get there. most of the way down. As you know from me saying before, it is a three hour drive when you go by the shuttle and it is a killer of a drive. The Camp David Crockett isn't the easiest place to find either. So we added about 20 minutes to the journey just trying to find a place. But we have made it. We are going to check in and I will show you guys the cabin uh, when we get there. See you in a bit.
Okay, so we had a slight change of plan. Uh, the cabin that we're in wasn't ready, but as it turns out, the disabled cabins uh, at the Dover Crockett Ranch aren't the same as the usual cabins. They only have one double bed and children's bunk beds. So at the moment, we don't really know where we're staying. So they're going to sort it out for us over at the hotel, but. At the moment we've made a beeline straight for uh, the Disneyland Park and we are just waiting for Pirates of the Caribbean. We uh, had a massive downpour uh, walking up Main Street. The clouds just suddenly opened and we got absolutely drenched. So we stopped off in the uh, my uh, favourite fast food place, uh, quick sandwich place, and that was Colonel Hattie's. So, as I say, we are waiting for Pirates of the Caribbean. Gonna go and have a wander around the shop and uh, probably catch up with you guys in a little while. See you in a bit.
Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, we had a bit of a problem with the disabled cabin. Uh, online, and everywhere you look, it appears that the cabins have a double bed, uh, three single beds, and a sofa bed. But as it turns out, and they don't tell you this anywhere when you're booking it, that the disabled cabin is actually one double bed and one bunk bed with a sofa bed. And the sofa bed isn't really a bed, it's just a sofa, essentially. So, we're obviously uh, four adults, it's me, Carl, my sister Stacey and my mum. So, none of us can really share a double bed. Uh, I can't get on a bunk bed, obviously. And the sofa, as I say, just wouldn't be appropriate. So, we've, uh, we're not sure where we're going to be staying, but if you are looking to book the Camp David Crockett, do, and you are disabled and need an adaptive cabin, do bear in mind that the cabins are that great. Uh, the access is fine, the doors are wide, the bathroom is a rolling shower uh, with a pull down seat if you need it. Um, the sink has a cutaway so the wheelchair can get under the sink. Same in the kitchen. Um, the double bed, uh, double, the room with a double bed is relatively large. Um, but yeah, we haven't actually been in the cabin. If we go, if we do stay there, um, I will take a film of it. I will give you a room tour. But as of yet, we've actually got nowhere to stay. So I will update you as we go along. Uh, we're still waiting for Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Mum and Stacey are on it at the minute. So, uh, yeah, we just have a quick wander around the shop. And, uh, yeah, catch you in a bit.
record. It is absolutely chucking it down out there. We are absolutely drenched. As you can probably see behind me, we've ducked inside uh, Videopolis Cafe Home Period for a quick <laughs> pit stop. Uh, we managed to get on the uh, It's a Small World, so that was quite cool. Uh, that kept us out of the rain. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to get a coffee and hopefully it will stop raining. It seems to be showery, so. But when they come down, they definitely come down hard. So um, yeah, I think we're going to head off to my favourite attraction in a bit, Buzz Lightyear. So we'll catch over there. See you in a little while. It's time to fight the evil forces of the Empress Earth. Let's get going, I've got my trusty trainers on. Ah, oh, we stopped again. Yeah, we're off to fight Empress Earth. Let's see what score we can get. I've got my lucky choice to trainers on. Here they are, catch up with you at the end with a score. Yep, yeah. which is luck. Well, we got an invisible score on uh, 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 Laser Blast. Good thing we were schooled there, I've been on it enough times. Um, I think we need to bring the average out of it, cutting my head off. Um, yeah, so we got an invisible score. Um, as you probably saw, not as good as our last one, but. We will do better tomorrow because we are coming back in here tomorrow. It's getting towards the end of the day now, so we're going to head off, I think, back down Main Street and back to the car. Considering it's the first day here, we've only had a few hours in the park. We seem to get a lot done. Still don't know what's going to happen with the hotel yet, so I think we're going to go find out where we're actually going to be sleeping tonight, which will be interesting. So I will let you guys know what happens when we get there. See you soon.
Okay, so we uh, finally sorted out our hotel. It's been an absolute nightmare. I literally had to argue with the manager on the telephone because the Camp David Crockett cabins, particularly the adaptive ones, just aren't suitable for disabled guests that aren't a family. It's fine if you're two adults with children. Not an issue. You'll have bunk beds for the hopefully able-bodied children or a sofa bed for the able-bodied children and a, a double bed for yourself. But other than that, it's really not suitable. I will go into more depth probably in episode three of this series. But we are actually now going to be staying at the Santa Fe. Eventually, we did get a, a satisfactory conclusion to the argument. But uh, yeah, as you guys know, if you've seen the previous videos, I will link it in the description below. We have stayed at the Santa Fe before. I really enjoyed it. I really like it. I love the theory of this hotel because I'm a big fan of cars. So for me, it's awesome. Hopefully we'll, we'll be in the same room or similar um, as it's much more appropriate and far easier uh, for us to be here than where we were. So as I say, I will go into more detail on the whole Camp David Crockett cabin debacle. Uh, but yeah, we are just going to check in at the Santa Fe. It's getting quite late now, so we're all quite tired. So I'll probably wrap the video up and do a do a room tour and stuff tomorrow, as we've got a full day tomorrow. So, so yeah, we are at the Santa Fe for the next three days. Well, four, three nights, four days. So, well, you can't count today, because it's already over. But yeah, next three nights we're at the Santa Fe. But yeah, essentially that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Managed to get quite a bit of video. I didn't get as much as I'd like because of the weather and the rain and stuff. And don't really want to get my camera wet and blow up. So, but I've got what I could. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with you guys tomorrow at the uh, Disneyland Park with the character breakfast. So that'll be a new experience and a whole new thing. But until then, until infinity and beyond.